a felicitation program in recognition of the efforts of the state government to initiate scientific mining in Meghalaya was held at Clariat today. The program was attended by Chief Minister Konrad Sangma and Deputy Chief Minister Sngyom Bolangdhar. Also present was Sutunga Saipung Emily Santa Marishila. Addressing the gathering, Chief Minister Konrad Sangma informed that the mining department will hold awareness programs for miners who want to apply for the mining lease. He said that resumption of coal mining will bring a new economic era for the state. Secretary Mining and Geology E. Karmalki informed that there are 17 applicants for the mining lease and another four applications will be forwarded to the Government of India. All our industries will be impacted. All the cement plants that today have to bring coal from other parts of the country, they will be finally in due course. As the miners start mining, they will be able to get the coal from JT Hills and from Mega itself. That will be a big relief for our cement plants. We have already started the process of setting up of planning to set up thermal power plants in our stage. I am convinced that thermal power is absolutely required for our stage. We have a target that in the next five years, minimum of 500 megawatts of thermal power plant should be set up in our stage. And with the kind of mining that's going to start now, and with all the supply that's going to be there, I'm very, very hopeful that we will be able to achieve this target. We are already in talks with many, many private investors who are now willing to tie up with the miners who have got the mining lease to get the supply of the coal at the pinhead so that the power can be produced at a much cheaper cost and then be supplied back to the government and to the NCL. The economic flow of the cash that will flow into the economy and the multiplier effect that will have on the overall GSPP of the state is going to be huge. The money that will roll in the economy, once the coal miners start getting the money and spending that money in the economy, once that starts rolling, I'm sure that the target of ensuring that we are able to reach a $10 billion economy is something that we will be able to achieve within the next five years. And hence, these, this particular moment is a defining moment for the state. It is a defining moment for the people of the state. And I'm very confident because I see the next one year, two years, three years, five years, where we are heading. As a government, we have made a strong economic plan. In this last budget which I presented, it's not just the budget for 2023 2024. The budget that I presented was from 2023 to 2028. We have laid down the vision that this NDP government, this NDA2 government, desires to achieve for the people of the state. We have broken down the sectors, we have given the details about how tourism, agriculture, sports, youth, 